Indigo just wouldn't be moved toward the sleigh. She saw all the toys in back, with no room for hay. As Santa scrolled on his phone for AAA, Indigo headbutted Vixen, and with Comet, wanted to play. No. Oh, Mom, are you okay? Okay. So Christmas really is all about getting together with family, and it's not Christmas yet as I'm filming this, but my mom happens to be here in town, so that's pretty nice. It's the first time she's been out here since we've had the permanent fencing and the new goat, goat structures. What do you think? I think it looks really great, but I'm really trying to decide where is Santa going to land? Okay. <clears throat> All right, Mom's going to hold the camera while I do a couple of things out here. We're getting ready to use this stall for goats. We want to separate Bonnie from Rogue because, believe it or not, Bonnie is still trying to nurse from her. We want to put a stop to that, so separating the goats is the way to do that. To make this space more functional, of course, I'm going to put in a feeder for them, as well as pine shavings down on the ground. Hold it. Where is it? And you can see the back of the screen. Oh, yeah. Is it going? It, it's recording. Okay. Okay, so, hey, yeah, you're interested in the grain, but I want to show how you're interested in the new present over here. All right. As an early Christmas present for our goats, I'm not giving them the grain. That's not the present. Hey, <laughs> I got them oh, new, my goodness. I got them a new beam to balance on. I got them a new beam to play on. Let's try to get them up on it. Everybody likes the new beam. So they're obviously too excited about the grain here. You might not even be able to see the balance beam. Should I back up to see the balance beam? Yeah. Show okay. the little configuration we've got here. Okay. Let's try something else here. Rather than, uh -oh, rather no. than just being around <laughs> me, I'm going to put the grain a little flat here. I don't think they're going to get on it. Oh, there they go. All right. That's good. There you go. Let me see if I can get some can shots. There, yeah, don't shake it. We don't oh. want them to know there's stuff in there.
Oh, mom, are you okay? <laughs> oh no. no. Come here, Indigo. Oh, Bad goat. Ugh. Bad goat. I'm sorry, mom. Uh oh. That's okay. That's okay. The goats are excited about their grain. That's what. Ah. Oh, you, I can use him for getting up. Oh, uh, you uh, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to get out of here. All right. Uh, I'll keep a hold of Indigo here just so. That's a bad goat. Yeah, knocking over mom. We've separated Bonnie from Rogue. We of course can't have one goat all by herself, so Stormtrooper is in here as a companion for Bonnie. Mostly, they've just been hanging out here by the gate, looking at the other goats. I think they'd rather be in with the rest of them, but... But yeah, you just have to be in there for a little while. Sorry. Their new digs really aren't too bad. Plenty of hay. Got their water for them. Yes, yes, it's okay, Bonnie. Yes. We had little Sienna in here with Bonnie at first. But Sienna really didn't like being separated from the other goats. She was just really just looking pathetic over there by the fence and shaking and you just di didn't like the change. So Stormtrooper's a little more flexible. Aren't you, Trooper? Stormtrooper's a good buddy goat. Yes. For this year's Christmas video, I've reworked the iconic 1822 poem by Clement Clark Moore that he called A Visit from St. Nicholas. He wrote it originally just for the amusement of his own six children. Thank goodness a visiting friend heard it and liked it so much she sent it into a newspaper. And thank goodness that paper published it the following year without his permission. This satiric exercise by me is done with love for the old classic and I'll put a link in my video description to his original text. My version starts off recognizably enough, but soon takes on a new twist. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the homestead, creatures were stirring. Just not this particular mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The goats were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of goat's necks danced in their heads. Wendy wasn't wearing a kerchief. I wasn't wearing this cap, but we had settled down for a long winter's nap. When out in the goat pen there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Oh, are you angry? These goats can raise a clatter. <laughs> There's not eight of them. They're not tiny, and they're certainly not reindeer. <laughs> but we did have a windy night last night, and some branches came down. So let's give them a quick treat. Okay, that's my coat. I'll let you hold the camera. <laughs> okay. Is it on? How come it's looking at me? Wow. Oh, you know what this is. Here comes Santa. You know what this is. Oh. 
They're much more civilized once they have the treats to eat in there. I can't. Goodness, they're getting in there. Do you want to film them? Because you know what? Oh, you gotta get it. Chomp, chomp. Oh, baby, you can see that. Like Christmas. Christmas trees. Oh, yeah. We got to deck the goats with boughs of pine branches. Merry Christmas. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. Tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes did appear, but some old guy in red with eight tired reindeer. The old jolly driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick, trying to rustle our goats to add to his team. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a dream. Come on, Indigo, Santa shouted with a hoarse scream, shoving, cajoling, begging didn't help. Sorry for Santa, there as he knelt. Been there myself, I knew how he felt. Indigo just wouldn't be moved toward the sleigh. She saw all the toys in back with no room for hay. As Santa scrolled on his phone for AAA, Indigo headbutted Vixen and with Comet wanted to play. St. Nick's reindeer seemed content, ready to stay. Romping around with our goats, not just a race, a relay. Who wouldn't like this new goat enclosure? Santa seemed desperate, like an accountant near foreclosure. Now. Full disclosure, I knew he really wasn't a goat thief. He just wanted to borrow to give his team some relief. This whole sad scenario was quite beyond belief. Had Santa asked, I might have agreed. It would have been good YouTube content, helping Santa in time of need. But he gave up after Indigo squatted by his boots and peed. It was all for the best. Our goats couldn't have taken him far. He'd have been better off hot wiring the truck or even the car. And Santa doesn't need to appear on our channel. He's already a star. It was the day after Christmas when I found it in the yard, a gift that needed no to or from card, magical reindeer manure frozen hard. A predictable gift from animals wearing magical harness and collar. In the compost it went to help next year's vegetables grow taller. I had no photographic evidence to send my mom from my phone. I guess I'll just call her. I hope Santa made it to you after his plight. His delay was merely moderately more than slight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.